Hey, what's good with y'all, bro? You see me back out here with another video. This right here is my first story time on my channel. So, without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Alright, bro. So, first, let me go ahead and set the mood real quick. Set the scene. My bad. Set the scene real quick. Um, I was about 11 years old. It was like, it was a hot, it was not hot, but it was a summer day. We was on a, it was like Saturday, I think. And we had a basketball tournament in the hood, in the neighborhood that we lived in. So, it was me, my homie Henry, my stepbrother Fahim, him right here. He died in 2014 in September. Um, and a couple other people. I don't remember everybody who was there, but I know we was like 10 deep. We was like 10 deep, bro, I swear. So, you know, we had this basketball tournament that we had every weekend during the summer um it was yeah it was a saturday you know we got done playing basketball now we chilling henry had his bb gun bro he had his bb gun he was playing with it and i don't i don't know after a while it like broke or something i don't know what he was doing to it he must have been doing some weird shit because it said jammed or something so <clears throat> he was like we gotta go to Sopco and get some more BB guns. And mind you, this nigga already had like six of them bitches. I don't know how he got all these BB guns. But this dude, we mind you, we are about, well, I'm about 11. I think he's like two years older than me. So he's like 13. He had like five BB guns. This nigga always had a BB gun no matter what. So I was like, nah, bro, I can't go. I already got in trouble. And my birthday's right around the corner, bro. Birthday right around the corner. So I didn't want to get in trouble again. So my mom already told me if I get in trouble one more time, my birthday done. You know, plus you black. When you got a black mom, you gotta take that shit serious. Cause they will end your whole birthday. Like, no birthday at all. You just get cake and that's it. So I was trying to turn it down, turn it down. My stepbrother was like, nah, but you gotta go. If I'm going, you most definitely going. I was like, bruh, come on, man. You already know I'm getting in trouble. So long story short, I had to go. So we about to go. Mind you, hold on first. Let me tell y'all how far this ride was. Plus, we was all on bikes. You know, in the hood, you got to have a stolen bike. Like, when you growing up, everybody had a stolen bike. Especially if you live in the hood. It was either spray painted black or it was either spray painted white. That's the only thing you had, bro. And mine was spray painted all black with white rims with little white uh, dots. I spray painted it a little bit white. Handlebar is white. That mug was clean, bro. I promise you that mug was the cleanest bike I ever had. If you ain't had no stolen mongoose with spray paint on it when you was a kid in the hood, boy, you wasn't outside, bro. I'm telling you. Everybody had a stolen bike. So, we all have bikes. We like 10 deep. And whoever didn't have bikes, they had to ride on the pegs, bro. And y'all know, when people ride on the pegs, it, it bring the weight. The weight get to you when you pedaling up hills. And let me tell you how long this ride was. This ride was about 30 minutes long. Bruh. We in the deep north side of the town at the moment. The store that we going to, it's like way out south. So, look like way southeast. So, we got to go all the way out there. It's a 30 minute ride, almost 20 minute, 30 minute ride. So, we ready, bro. We going, we all, everybody with us. We got the whole, the whole gang with us. So, we ready to go. So we are pedaling, we pushing, and we going hard, bro. So about 20 minutes later, we finally get to the store. The store is called Shopco. We finally get there. So we all put our bikes to the side. We all split up. It's me, Henry, and Fahim. We all together. And then the other people, they go their separate ways. Because me, uh, my brother, and Henry, we was all close. My, my brother, Fahim, we hang with Henry all the time, so I already knew that we was going to stay together, so... We stay together and they split up. We go look at clothes, shoes, and all that first. Cause you can't just go in and look at what you want. I mean, you can't just go in and go straight to the object that you're gonna take. Like you can't do that. So we walking around looking at clothes and stuff. We actually got distracted low key because that store has some fire clothes, bro. I'm not gonna lie. So. We was looking at that stuff. We got distracted for like a good 10, 15 minutes. And then Henry was like, come on, bro. We got to go. 
I'm ready to go home. I'm trying to get my BB gun. Get the fuck up out of here. So we go straight to the BB gun section. What they had a whole wall, the whole wall of BBs and BB guns. So my first thing is I gotta get me an all black one. Yo, you gotta have an all black BB gun. That mug is just so clean. My stepbrother got an all black one, and then Henry got like a gray one, a black and gray one. So we all got ours. And I got the thousand round BB gun, the BB gun holder. It's like, damn, I need an object. Oh, fuck it. It's about like this big. It's about this big with a thousand BBs in it. So I ain't got to go back and get no more BBs because I ain't going. It's a one time thing, bro. A one time thing. That's what I'm thinking. So we finally get our stuff, get the stuff that we want. And I had to find some scissors, bro. Cause I couldn't open, I couldn't open the package with a BB gun in it. So I gotta go find some scissors with the BB gun, with the BBs, and go to the bathroom and cut it out. So I go find some scissors, take the scissors out the pack, and go to the bathroom, and then sit on the toilet and cut the BB gun package open so I can get the BB gun. And you know you gotta be smart about it. So you gotta wrap it up in, in uh not toilet paper, paper towel, and put it in the trash can. You can't, can't just put it in the trash can. So I grabbed a paper towel, wrapped it up a couple times, put it in the trash can. So we ready to go. After like 10, 15 minutes, everybody ready to go. We gone, we ready. So we all walking out. Our pants stuffed with BB guns and BBs, bro. So as soon as we we walking, we just, we all went our separate ways this time. Like everybody split up to leave. So we will all wouldn't get caught. <clears throat> so we walking. There's a worker right there. He was walking right past me, bro. And I know I don't know how I don't know how he didn't see the BBs in my pocket. Like the B, I told you this package is big as heck, big as heck, bro. So I have it in my pocket. It's sticking out of my pocket, bro. I don't know how he didn't see, and I was right by the door. So he walked straight past me. I got to that door. I'm I'm gone. Ran to my bike and got. I'm gone. Everybody got to their bike. We dipping, bro. We dipping. So. Everybody right. I knew a shortcut because my aunt, my great aunt, used to live right by the store. So we dipping. We going. We going. My nigga Keon, this nigga's pedaling so hard. I'm telling you, this nigga did a full fresh, full flesh front foot, bro. I'm telling you. This nigga, I don't know how. We was all like. Damn. 